week, Apex Media is at Apex Expo in Boston, and we're super fortunate to be joined by Stephen Cavanaugh, now who's the CEO of Aer Lingus. Welcome, Stephen. Thank you very much. So you gave a great presentation in the morning keynotes this morning, where you know you were kind enough to reveal some news for the delegates and all the journalists who were in attendance. Yeah, we were delighted uh, to announce that uh, as of uh, 2019, uh, we're going to introduce uh, free Wi-Fi for economy guests up to 20 megabytes. Um, and also uh, free um, alcoholic beverage, wine, beer, uh, with meal. And in addition, we're going to take the opportunity uh, of the introduction of some new routes and new aircraft uh, to refresh our brand, uh, really to reflect the, the progress we've made in recent years in terms of particularly the, the expansion from North America to Europe mm -hmm. uh, through our Dublin hub mm -hmm. uh, to refresh and modernize uh, the proud heritage of, of the Aer Lingus brand and bring it into the, uh, the 21st century, 22nd century. I think. <laughs> so a lot of this is sort of centered around the introduction of a new aircraft type, which you have uh, 12 on order, but it should be coming soon. They're coming in, in, in July and it's really those aircraft themselves are, are uh, reflective of, of the ambitious strategy. So we've been very successful in recent years in doubling our transatlantic business. Mm -hmm. uh, we're a very successful business in terms of profitability, but we're also increasingly uh, becoming uh, renowned for the quality of the guest experience. And not least, uh, we were very proud to receive the, uh, the Apex Five Star uh, Award. Yeah, congratulations. Um, so it, it's, it's timely. The aircraft will, are, are really uh, a representation of the ambition being being delivered and, and in parallel with those aircraft we are taking the opportunity to, to improve the product. Mm -hmm. So free Wi-Fi is something that passengers have probably perked their ears up uh, when they heard. When is that going to become available for your economy class passengers? Um, from the first quarter of 19. From the first quarter. Yeah. And you talked about something else as well which is a brand refresh. You said you guys have had sort of the same livery and the, the same colors, the same uniforms for 25 years now so yes. you're getting ready to change that. Yes, we are, and it, it, again, it, it's, it's uh, a reflection of the ambition of the business. We, we, we want to bring and refresh, uh, bring a little bit of modernity, uh, reflect the ambition to be a much bigger carrier, not just serving uh, the island of Ireland, which is important in our heritage, but increasingly to be relevant to, to new markets. So you said the green is probably going to stay. The green will definitely the stay. The shamrock is it, not going anywhere. It, it, it ain't, but there will be... Uh, there will be subtle, subtle changes. It's a refresh, yeah. um, but I think uh, we're very happy with how it looks, particularly in terms of livery uh, and in the ease at which it, it transfers to our digital um, assets, particularly uh, our lingus.com and our, and, our, uh, and our mobile app, which mm -hmm. increasingly is relevant uh, in, 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 in how we, 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 um, we retail and, and sell tickets. So having that refresh, having a, a modern, vibrant brand that, 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 that transfers well to digital applications uh, really is important for us. Okay, speaking of digital, uh, digital goes in hand in hand a lot in conversations about personalization, and that's something that was discussed this morning at the board of directors, uh, board of governors rather, meeting. Um, we, we identified some targets for the association to really focus on. Yep. That was led by airline CEOs like yourself. Personalization was one. Biometrics was another. So, you know, what's what's your stance or your strategy in these areas? Personalization is is increasingly important for us uh, because we are. Uh, very much uh, uh, interested in, in retail. Mm -hmm. uh, we're a value-led carrier, so we, we like to empower our guests, our, our, our customers, with choice. Uh, if those can be better informed choices based on, on, on uh, uh, you know, previous transactions or based on, 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 on expressed preferences, uh, then we believe that the, the, the benefit for us is, is, is improved revenue stream uh, but also better guest experience. Uh, you know, if you can sell to somebody a relevant offer mm -hmm. at a time when they want to consume in a way that they want to consume and make it a compelling proposition, that reinforces our, our, our value model. Mm -hmm. So it feels like you understand them and you're, you're um, anticipating their needs as opposed to pushing a product that maybe isn't suited to them. Yeah, it's, you know, we, we compete with one of the most aggressive LCCs in, in, in Europe, mm -hmm. one of the most successful airlines globally but we differentiate in the way that we, we, we retail, in the way that we, we, we sell um, ancillary. We don't impose, we empower. We, we, we try and understand what products might be relevant during a particular journey, and we try and give, give choice and compel competitive pricing. 
Um, that's a fundamental differentiator from our perspective. So the deeper our knowledge of our customers, the better we, we will be able to put compelling offers and upsell. All right, well, thank you so much uh, for your time today, Stephen. Won't take up any more of it. Delighted. Thank you very much. And congratulations again on your five-star passenger rating. Thank you. Thank you. For Apex Media, I'm Marianne Simpson.